there is a lot of bad press that follows color tattoos. Stuff like color tattoos only look good fresh, but once they heal, they look like shit and they age horribly. Like I can't tell you how many times that I have heard these things or I've seen them commented under a color tattoo post. And even though I didn't fully believe these sayings to be true because I have seen a lot of good healed color tattoos, I still kind of did believe these sayings as well because I have also seen a lot of bad heels as well. So because of that, I didn't know 100% what I was getting myself into and I didn't know what to exactly expect. But as we can see, I still went through with it. And now that I have my own color tattoo and it's been well over half a year since I got it done, I can truly now give my own personal opinion and answer this question on how color tattoos look healed. And I will be doing this by showing you a comparison of my tattoo side by side of the fresh and healed along with a couple other examples that I have found online. I'm also going to share with you some tips on how to make your color tattoos look their best not only now but for years to come. And then finally I am going to share my personal opinion on color tattoos, how they look healed and if it's worth getting or not for yourself. All right, let's get straight into things and take a closer look at how my fully healed chest piece looks compared to when it was fresh. And as you can see, it definitely is not as vibrant in majority of the colors that were used. It looks a little bit flatter and the colors don't pop out at you nearly as much as they did when they were fresh. And although this is a little bit disappointing to see, I already kind of expected this to happen. But I will go on to say that I believe this chest piece healed very well. As you can see, the colors are still very prominent even after half a year of being healed. But if you really want to go ahead and pick at that statement of does it look the same or not when it is fresh, then technically, no, it doesn't. But then again, no tattoo in any style will ever look the same as it did when it was fresh. Now, mine was only one example. I am going to show you a couple more that I have found online and we can go ahead and further kind of see how color tattoos look when they are healed even after a couple years. So this first one we have here is from Dark Webby. Both of them are from the same artist and uh, this one here is 11 months and as you can see the yellows have really softened up along with the greens and uh, it looks like there's blue in there that wasn't really there in the fresh so that's a little bit more prominent and then the other colors in like those kind of the spots uh, they're a lot less subtle as well just you lose a lot of the vibrancy but here we have another good heel like here's a different kind of take on it where the blues are still there the oranges are still there all the colors are still there it's just yeah it looks a lot flatter and it doesn't look as vibrant and doesn't have that same kind of punch that it once did. Here is another good example of how it looks after a couple months, like in the time span that I have been, the purples are there, the blues, every, every, everything looks great. Like I honestly like this healed more than the kind of fresh, even though yes, the fresh does pop out at you more. Now this is probably gonna be my best example for you to show you how things look in a base scale, but also over a certain amount of years after it has been healed. Now. If you look at the Toy Story 1, it looks great. The background's a lot softer and overall, it's a lot more flat, especially when you kind of zoom into uh, the dinosaur, the greens and that spot, just they don't look as detailed. But overall, that is a great heel. But let's zoom into this kind of rat wearing this cape and uh, the reds definitely don't look the same. The browns don't look the same. And even the ground, like look at the ground. This is a brown. This is more like a green it turned into. So. It definitely looks like over time, especially more than anything, age is what's going to get your color tattoo to look a lot different than what it did when it was fresh or when it was fairly new. So now that we have seen some examples on how color tattoos look healed and how they hold up over time, I want to share with you some tips on how to preserve these color tattoos so they look their best for years to come. Because I promise you, following some of these tips will help make it look a lot better down the road. So the first tip that I got for you is to go to an artist that specializes in color tattoos. You don't want to go to any artist to do this job. Certain color artists know how to work with certain inks and certain types of skins to get the best results when it is healed. A perfect example I got for you guys is from Sandry. He says certain blues don't really hold up that great over time, but he has found over his time as a tattoo artist certain techniques that work a lot better in kind of giving you the best heal. Now, the second tip is the most important one out of them all, and that is to keep your color tattoo out of the sun. I've said this a thousand times before, and I'll keep on saying it. The sun is your tattoo's number one worst enemy. It'll fade it out and destroy it more than anything else out there. And that especially goes for color tattoos because you really want to be able to keep that saturation and that certain shade of color in your tattoo as much as possible. And if you have that sun just beaming down on it, it'll destroy it light enough 
and it's just not going to look anything like it did when you kind of first got it. Now, the third tip to keep your color tattoos looking their absolute best is to go ahead and shave the area of any hair. I am dead serious when I say this is the fastest way to immediately see change in how your color tattoo looks. And I think this is the perfect time to bring on today's video sponsor, Manscaped, to prove this because they have the perfect product that will go ahead and not only make your tattoos, but also your guys down there look their absolute best. And for this video, I really went ahead and grew up my chest hair to really help show you how great things will look once they have no hair on them. So now let me introduce to you the Law More 5.0. This is the tool that's gonna do it all for you. This is the latest version in their popular Law More series that is meant to groom your boys down there, which will give you one of the best trims you will ever get all while reducing nicks and cuts. And that is thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. A little fun fact about me using this over the last couple months, I have yet to have anything happen and I am not even trying. So that just shows you how great and how safe this is. And I'm able to achieve that because of its dual interchangeable heads, especially this one right here. This foil head is going to be something you will absolutely love using. Literally, this is going to become the second favorite head you use. I hope somebody got that. <laughs> and I say that because in just one swipe, you will take off all the hair that you need to get rid of and it's going to take it right down to the skin and then bam, before you know it, you are done. And come on, seriously, just look at how great my tattoo now looks without any hair on it and how easy it was to use this trimmer. Now, just imagine how great that area down there looks. Don't actually imagine that. That's, that's a little weird, even though I told you to imagine that. Quick, imagine a cat playing a piano. Now, this is just one of many tools that I use in my weekly kind of hygiene routine, but I gotta say, this is probably my favorite as it just checks so many boxes off. And I truly do believe a lot of you will love it out there as well. So join me and millions of other men worldwide that love using Manscaped by going to their website and using the code INK, that is I-N-K-E-D, for 20% off and free shipping. And uh, you know what? Just bang. Look at that. Clears it with one shot. You're going to love it and uh, definitely worth checking out for yourself. Let's get back into things. All right, now let's continue with some more ways to go ahead and keep your color tattoos looking their best. And that is with tip number four. And that is to go ahead and exfoliate the area, removing any type of dead skin that might be on top of the tattoo. Just like how we removed the hair and all of a sudden your tattoo popped out a lot more at you. Removing any type of dead skin that you may have on you, flakes or anything like that will make the tattoo look a little bit better as well. It's not gonna do crazy amounts of difference, but it'll do a little bit and that's always worth having. And the best way I would like you guys to kind of picture this and imagine it is just imagine you have your skin and the tattoo kind of like a glass countertop and then the table under it. If the glass is dirty, smudged and all that, the table underneath doesn't look as good. But as soon as you go ahead and clean that glass countertop, all of a sudden that table underneath looks a lot better. You can see a lot more details. And that is kind of the same way this kind of works as well. Next is the simplest trick to make your tattoos look their absolute best. And that is to moisturize the area and drink more water. Yes, it, it, it's just that simple. Just by hydrating your skin, it will make the tattoos pop a little bit more. This is not going to be anything crazy, but doing this, you will definitely see a difference in how your tattoos look. And you don't got to do anything crazy. You don't got to drink a stupid amount of water. Add maybe an extra glass into your routine. Maybe after you're done your shower, moisturize your whole skin or the tattoo area or after a hot sunny day. Do that as well. I guarantee you doing just this little thing in a routinely basis will help make your tattoos overall look a little bit better. All right, so now for my personal opinion on color tattoos and how they heal and if I think it's worth getting for yourself or not. Personally, I love color tattoos. I think they are amazing. And for the most part, I think they heal very good too. There were some examples that could be up for debate, but uh, for the most part, I think if you go ahead and take care of your color tattoo, you watch over the sun, you manage it, you moisturize the skin, and you go to the right artist, you are going to have a good tattoo for years to come. But there is one thing that I definitely think everybody should be doing, and that is setting realistic expectations. Your tattoo is never going to look the same as it did when it was fresh and those weeks leading into it healing. Are those tattoos going to look as vibrant, as colorful as it did when you first got them? No, they're not. Because yes, they do lose a lot of that initial vibrancy and pop that they did after it is healed. And it seems with age, they only continue to lose more. But again, at the same time, if you go in having this expectation that it's not going to look exactly like how it did. So you kind of rub that initial kind of sight of it off and know that's going to look a little bit different, a little bit flatter, less colorful then you're still gonna walk away with a great tattoo in your mind. It's only gonna look as good, if not better. Now, it's been well over six months since I got my tattoo and I still believe it looks great and healed amazing. And uh, 
I am going to be here to update you on how it looks as time goes on. Who knows how it's going to look in 10 years from now, but I hope to be here around still then to update you as well and give you that information so you know what to expect as well. There's no gatekeeping, there's no BS with me, and I want to be able to be as truthful as I can with you guys. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video. It's me talking about, you know, color tattoos, what I should do with the leg, and kind of on the fence on if I should go black and gray style or continue with the color road as well. And also, go ahead and check out this video of me getting my whole chest done in France. Another great watch as well. Hope to see you in one of those videos. Like always, Justin out. Later.